everybody. Welcome back to Rocky Mountain Homestead. Today I have some of the kiddos with me and we are going to be running some errands. I Today is Tuesday, September 26th. I cannot get over the fact we're almost in October. Um, I'm going to be bringing Pat's, <clears throat> Miss Pat's package because she won the giveaway to the post office today. I was supposed to do that yesterday and before I knew it the post office was closed by the time I got there so I'm going to ship that out today and I also am going to stop by Dollar General because my um, I'm sending out my niece a little fall fun box so I'm gonna get a couple extra things to add into that um, with some outfits and a fun book I got for her so I'm gonna take you guys along for my day today just absolutely gorgeous out today I want to be outside so bad um, playing with the kids but unfortunately I need to get some things done inside so that's what I'm gonna be doing it is a gorgeous day outside but unfortunately after being sick and it finally going through all the kids. I'm like, okay, I've got to catch up on a lot of the housework. Um, I feel like the rooms that always are let go of the most is the kitchen because it's the most used, um, the laundry room, the pantry. We have friends coming over this Friday. My friend Rachel is going to come over with her boys and we're not sure what we're going to do yet. Um, she had mentioned maybe hiking some trails. I'm not sure what we're going to do, or maybe just having her and her boys come over and hang out. They might stay for dinner. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm just trying to get a head start here on the housework and the cleaning, um, while the kids play outside and enjoy this gorgeous day. And there is plenty inside, um, for me to do that'll keep me busy and first I'm just tackling these dishes and this cast iron is oh my goodness so bad um it definitely sat for a while and <laughs> I need to kind of help it here so lots of scrubbing but anyway just trying to knock out as much housework as I possibly can today so that we can enjoy the upcoming gorgeous weather we have and I don't have to be inside cleaning all day long.
Okay, I'm going to ask, what do you guys use when you're cleaning your stove top? I, if you don't have a glass stove top, I guess, like, if you guys have a gas range is what I'm asking because I use the method degreaser and I don't know. I feel like it doesn't always do a great job. Um, I've used the pink stuff. I've, I've used quite a few things and I've just never found something that just absolutely works great. And I usually let this sit for at least a couple minutes. Um, it works good on most things, but you know, if, if things have slipped away from you when you're sick for a little bit and it's really caked on there, um, I usually keep a little scraper on hand, but I'm just curious, what do you guys use? Leave down in the comments below. Um, because I am definitely willing to try um, something else and see if it works better than what I have been using. And the bottle that you see on the counter next to the sink um, that I'm using to clean the sink, I didn't realize I had a cream. I've always used the Barkeeper's Friend. It works best. My sink, it doesn't matter how much I scrub away at it, it never looks like I properly clean it unless I use the barkeeper's friend, it's just really good about getting the scuff marks and the stains off the white of the sink. Um, we're talking about replacing it eventually one day here soon. We need to kind of redo our window sills. I don't know the genius who decided wood should go <laughs> behind a sink, but close up, it looks absolutely horrible. There's water damage. You like can't not get water on it. Um, so we were trying to figure that out when we when, eventually, when we do windows in our house, which is probably, we're, we're probably a long ways off, but when we do, we really need to, um, redo those window sills. I feel like this is on my list every single day. <laughs> I usually do this in the beginning of the day and the end of the day. 
Um, and it's not kids. It's my dog's nose art and it goes all over every single window and the end table. I just absolutely love glass, um, but constantly going through window cleaner in this house, just trying to tidy up the coffee table and try and get all the fingerprints and everything wiped off. Um, I usually do a lot of this stuff at the end of the day, but I really need to be working on the homeschool room and the laundry room this evening. And so I feel if I just get my housework done now that I usually do at the end of the day, um, you know, after dinner time, when it's dark and the kids are in bed, if I get a head start on it, then it gives me more time to work on the things that are going to be a lot more time consuming. Um, and then that way when I'm tired and I can't stay up any later, I can just go off to bed and, um, know that the house is at least clean and there's a clean slate to wake up to the next morning. It definitely makes for a better day when the majority of everything is done and you can just start your day without having to do so many chores first. Okay, I got a bunch of spinach of ours that bolted, and I'm going to go ahead and give that to our chickens. All right, there you guys go. Oh, hello, baby. Oh, you're dirty, huh? Saying goodnight to everybody before I go inside and finish my other to-dos. Hi, baby girls. Hello. What do you think, Laverne? 
Huh, oh, baby girl? You got your food for the night, your water. Oh, goodness. So we just brushed her the other day. She is super soft, huh? Are you soft? I'm gonna get covered in all your fur, huh, baby? You like my my sloggers? Got little Nigerian dwarf goats on them, and she approves. Do you approve, huh, baby? Do you approve? The animals are misbehaving. I don't know where they are. The guinea fowl keep running away. Caleb's trying to catch them. At the end of a long day, this is probably one of my most favorite places to come out to and just soak in God's beauty and all that he created. To also come out here and see all the hard work that we have put into making this place truly our own. All the rock carved out as we try and carve our dream into this property and it just it kind of helps me unwind and reset a little bit and I definitely walk away with a more thankful heart a heart that is gratitude for the things that God has done and that he continues to do in and through our life And now it is back to it, and I saw a little spot on the carpet that I think is from Max. So I, um, somebody left the gate open in the hall. I decided, well, why not just start shampooing? And then I got a little carried away and ended up going into um, the boys' room next to this room as well and doing their room too. So the floors are clean. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. You got your sheepy? You got all kinds of stuff over there, huh, buddy? We need to do your haircuts tomorrow. What do you think? Yeah? Haircuts tomorrow? Good night, boys. Love you. Bye, Dad. Love you. Night, night, Joshy. Night, night, <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> You're such a goofball. Alright you guys, I am going to kind of slow down my day a little bit. I got caught up shampooing the carpet in the boys room and then the other boys rooms right next to it. So I'm like, I better just do this one too and shampooing the carpet can take quite a bit of time. It was gross. I do it probably once a month and um, we have like a no shoe rule in the house, but they're still gross. Never, never surprises me. Um, Alright, so... I am going to make our sandwich bread for tomorrow, and then I need to get down to the homeschool room and wrap up a few things. I'm going to get our sandwich bread going, though, so it can rise for an hour while I'm downstairs getting some stuff done, and then, um, and then I'll bring you guys back and show you the rest of the steps. All right, sorry. My little boys are in bed, but my two older boys wanted a little bit of... Playtime, it is now 8.38, so I'm like, yeah, at least until 9 or 9.30. Okay, I know. All right, go do your word search. I'm sorry. Okay, Um. anyway, so, <laughs> my son. Thank you, Caleb. Okay, three, cu <laughs> ah, three cups of warm water, four, four teaspoons of active yeast. Um, and then I'm going to do four tablespoons of sugar and get that whisked together. So me personally, I'm making two loaves of bread because, um, I have to, my kids, my, my kids go through more than a loaf a day if they're doing sandwiches for lunch. And I like to always just have two on hand 
it's been a crazy night. I'm laughing because I really want to cry at this point. I'm <laughs> just like, ah, it's, it's crazy. I, I went outside and when I was like just doing this shot of sitting on the porch for like literally I sat for five minutes just to calm down and my our cats we have four cats and they drive me nuts they one of them has figured out it can tear the screens apart on the windows and um go out on the roof outside my son's window and it actually fell off the roof and I was like you've got to be kidding me I just I so I got once again three cups of warm water the yeast and that is four teaspoons of yeast and then the four tablespoons of sugar. And as you can see, I don't really wait. I use instant yeast, um, the active dry yeast. And uh, yeah, it's already doing its thing. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and add the other ingredients. Let me see if I can move you guys closer. Maybe we'll see. Um, all right. So I... Now I have my one cup. It is in the dishwasher. Of course it would be. So I have half cup um, and I'm using all purpose flour. I usually do eight cups of flour, but I'm going to do seven and a half right now. Um, so half, one, half, two, half, three, Half, four, half, five, half, six, half, seven, and a half. And then I'm going to put my other half cup off to the side. I don't know why I always need four cups of all purpose flour when I make just one loaf, but for whatever reason, when I double stuff, everything gets really weird. Um, same with muffins. If I'm making a certain amount of, like if I'm batch cooking muffins, I usually end up with less than I get if I, I don't know. It makes no sense. I don't know. But anyway, so I got seven and a half cups of flour and I have the half cup set aside. Um, if I need to add it, I have four tablespoons of milk powder and then I have my two teaspoons of salt and I am going to start mixing this together and as that's mixing together, I'm going to go ahead and get four tablespoons of softened salted butter. Okay, I have my four teaspoons of, or four teaspoons, four tablespoons of softened salted butter. I'm just going to lift this up. It didn't mix together all the way. Oops, I need a level two. Um, and then that will just, that will just blend right into the mixture. And then once I am sure that it stays off the sides of the bowl, I will set my timer for the dough to continue kneading. All right, that took no time at all. And you guys, I don't think I'm gonna need that extra half cup. Um, every time I double it, I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, so if you're doubling it, um, this is seven and a half cups of flour. I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for five minutes and then bring you guys back. Okay, it has been five minutes. So what I'm going to do is take my dough hook out of here and scoot this down. And I just washed my countertop for the hundredth time today. <laughs> and I am going to get the dough out. I am just going to go ahead and knead it for a minute before I put it into the bowl for it to rise and then I'm hoping to get a couple things done in the homeschool room. We, we are super late. I have never done school. I've always done our school year starting in August, um, usually the middle of August. And then last year for the first time we did it, I think it was the day after Labor Day or whatever Monday was after Labor Day. And, um, yeah, that's as late as we've ever done it, but it is like 
almost October now. Um, I was waiting, and I had mentioned it in previous videos, I was waiting till after Fire Academy because uh, it, it wasn't just like physical stuff that we had to do, you know, spending the day there doing all the physical things. Um, there was like studying you had to do throughout the week and tests you had to do online um, to um, all these little quizzes to make sure you know the skills physically and um, you know, on a test. So I really wanted to focus in on that. So I was like, we'll start school after Academy. And then two weeks before Academy was over, I broke my foot and all that to say, I had all my doctor appointments and then I'm like, Oh, I better get all the kids dentist appointments and things out of the way and done. So scheduled all those, um, down the hill. And then all the animals needed stuff updated, so got all the vet appointments taken care of, and then I opened my planner, and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do the last week of September and waste my whole entire calendar um, for school, because I actually got the Erin Condren homeschool planner, and it's like custom filled in, so I didn't want to waste a whole calendar just for one week the very end of September so I'm like we'll start fresh October 2nd we'll just go late and it's not that bad because we did kind of do school throughout the summer this year anyway um I'm go I sprayed it down got it all oiled up I'm going to get a damp towel and I am going to place it over the bowl and then pop it in the oven on the proof setting you can also put this under cabinet lighting um you can put this in your oven with the oven light on and uh, just have it sit in there. But I'm going to let this rise for an hour and go downstairs and try and get as much done as I can within the hour to get our schoolroom ready to go because today is Tuesday and the rest of the week is really busy and the weekend's gonna fly by. So I will see you guys back in one hour. All right, it has been one hour, so I'm just going to deflate the dough a little bit and get this onto the counter, which is clean, clean hands. And I'm just going to back you guys up a little bit, maybe. It wants to like turn <laughs> on the tripod, I don't know why. It's driving me nuts, it's been doing that all day. Okay, so I am just going to, actually I would have cut it in half at that point, but I am not thinking tonight I have so much to do. So I'm just going to cut it in half since it is two loaves you can weigh yours if you want to be more exact um, for me it's kind of all the same so I'm going to just stretch it out a little bit into a rectangular shape and to show you where did I put my bread pans okay my daughter had put them back <laughs> after we did dinner cleanup um, she must not have realized I had to do bread tonight. Okay, so I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to flip it over, and that's like the more ugly side. You can see there's all kinds of unevenness to this side. I'm just going to pat it out and get all the air bubbles out. I got the width of my pan kind of to measure up to, which that's not too important. You just want to roll that up, and I just pull back as I roll. A little bit just so it's nice and tight and then I'm just pinching the seam and then I am going to pop this into the bread pan and this is where you can kind of even it out a little bit um, make sure it's kind of evenly spread out in here so that's all I'm doing, just kind of pressing it, forming it into the pan. And then I am going to grab my lid and the Pullman pans come with a lid and I am just going to slide that on. And these are going to sit for about another half an hour usually is what I do. I'm just gonna flip it right over to this side and um, I did not preheat my oven. I usually would have done that by now, but because I was a little bit busy, 
I didn't get up here in time. So I am going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees and, uh, and get that warming up. Then once again, just tucking the ends, what I do is I usually just pull the underside of it and pinch it together um, just so you have like a rounded end. And then I'm going to take this and pop it into this bread pan. And just make sure it fits into the pan nicely. That's all kind of even. And then I'm going to grab my lid and pop it on. So these two will be sitting here for about half an hour. I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 and then I'll bring you back. All right, you guys, it has been a little bit close, close to about 30 minutes, um, more like 35 minutes. So they're risen just about up to the lid and I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 32 minutes and I'll bring you back. All right, you guys, it is done. It's been about 33 minutes. And look at these. These are a beautiful, beautiful golden color. I don't even know if you could tell with my lighting, but absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take it now and take this oven mitt and I kind of flip it out like that. I don't know if you saw or if I did it too fast, but I don't want to mess it up, so I'll do that one more time just to show you guys. So, and my fingers aren't even all the way in this. I actually would rather use regular oven mitts, not the gloved ones, but I take it. Let me see if I can show you. It's really hot. It literally just came out of the oven. I take it and I kind of roll it back, <clears throat> and that's what I do. And then I'm just going to pick it up to show you. You see the lines on this side? Um, yeah, my light's really bright. But there's the lines. Beautiful, beautiful bread. This is our daily bread. This is our sandwich bread. Um, usually I have melted butter ready to go. But I've been occupied doing other things that needed to get done. So I'm going to take the rest of this softened butter from the when I added in the four tablespoons of melted butter. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Um, I just will rub it over the top in the sides, and it just gives it a beautiful, nice, buttery, soft finish. You can even get a brush. I mean, this is a mess at this point <laughs> because it's a little warm in here from the oven being on for so long. But that's all we're going to do. Just brush it on. And this is, <clears throat> this is our sandwich bread the main bread that I do make. I do, you know, breads with our wheat berries and milling, but just for regular white bread because I think that's what kids like the most. Um, I have plenty of versions of bread that I do, but this is one of our favorites and this is our sandwich bread bread most days. And you can freeze this. You can pop it in the freezer when I have the freezer space. I mean, I probably should, but I'm, I'm really bad about doing that, you guys, because when I freeze stuff, I end up forgetting it's in the freezer because we just, I don't know, <laughs> the, most of what's in our freezer is like frozen vegetables and meats, um, and that's pretty much about it, frozen fruits, um, so it's a really bad habit. Or it's, I should say, I can't form the habit of checking my freezer and being like, oh, we have bread in there. So I usually just make it, but this definitely can freeze and it's really convenient if you can do that. Um, but there we go, guys. So I'm a mess. <laughs> Surprised my dogs aren't in here. My labs go nuts for butter. They're usually like sitting looking on the countertop, but look at that. Perfect. I'm gonna let this cool. Okay, I really hope you guys give this a try. I'm not going to be putting a recipe into every single video I put out there. I think this is like, I think I just did, oh, what did I do? 
I did the pizza recipe, and then recently, a couple videos back, I did a different type of bread that you can make. Um, but I just happened to be making it and I'm like, okay, I've pretty much, I got done a lot of stuff today, but I wanted to share this with you because I know a lot more people are interested in learning to make bread and wanting to know different types of bread recipes out there. Um, the next one that I do, it, it'll be a couple of videos from now, but the next one that I do, I'm going to get the wheat berries out and I'm going to show you a honey wheat bread that I do with my wheat berries. So once again, you guys, if um, you want to get, I know they're still hot, they just came out of the oven. Yep, too hot, too hot to touch. Um, but and you guys, I do have the Pullman pans. I will put them down below um, in a link for you guys. And they're just, um, yeah, they're just Pullman pans. And they have the lid, so it's a nice uniform. Most of the time, it's a nice uniform. I did double it, and I didn't weigh my bread, so we don't care. We're eating it. <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter if one's slightly, you know, smaller and a little bit more rounded, but um, it does give it that nice uniform shape and kind of keeps it level on top. Um, and this is beautiful to cut into. I'll try and sneak that in here at the end, but it's got to cool significantly and it's already getting pretty late. So I'm going to go ahead and swap some laundry and I don't know, get a few things done. And then I guess I'll come back and um, show you when this is cooled down a little bit, what the inside looks like. Beautiful, fluffy, moist bread. It's amazing. So this is our daily bread and um, yeah, I will bring you guys back when this cools off. All right, you guys, so I got my bread loaf here and my bread knife, and I'm just going to cut. It is definitely cooled down, and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. All right, this is the end. Oh, my lighting. Hold on. It never, I don't know if this lighting is not working. Hold on, let me kind of minimize it a little bit. Anyway, it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful texture inside. And you can cut it thin, uh, thin slices, thick slices, but look at that guys. It is way better than what you get from the store. Just saying. <laughs> um, so this is definitely what we use for our sandwich bread and what we've used for our sandwich bread for years. And it's just really easy to cut into and it holds up whether you cut it thin or thick. But look at that guys, beautiful crumb inside. It is now that time for me and Mike just got home. He's been at his office all night doing um, a significant amount of paperwork and I have been a busybody in here so I'm going to call it a night and I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, take care and God bless.